Hello! In the previous videos, we've covered the basics of live coding with SuperCollider and we have created a setup file that, among other things, allows us to load sound files in synthevs and set up the basics for a smooth musical start or restart. This time, I want to talk about adding effects to a node proxy, more specifically about how effects can be processed through what is called node proxy roles. Let's imagine that we have a sound, say, a melody, that we want to somehow modify. Add a vibrato, a flanger, pass it through a comp filter or distort it. Two node proxy roles will help us achieve this. As stated in the help file, these roles allow to specify how a source for a node proxy is being used. The role is an association of a symbol and the new proxy source object. Associations can be created through the arrow operator. One can make use of already defined roles or one can add new ones. I want to focus on the filter and filter in roles. Both work similarly. Here, the symbol filter is being associated with a function. Inside of this function, we declare an argument that will enable to pass the sound of the node proxy. Right after declaring the argument, we design the effect we want to apply by means of eugens. Any eugen will work. But let's go directly to an example. I think it will be more graphic. Here, I'm using a p-bind to trigger a series of nodes, all in the node node proxy. So far, the sound corresponds unmodified to the synthev designed in the synthevs file, and the keys that I can tweak correspond to the arguments that I have already declared in the synthev called node. So the way to add an effect to these sounds is by assigning a slot to the node proxy, as one single node proxy can contain different objects. The first slot, which is zero, corresponds to the original sound. I will come back to slots in a bit. In slot one, we will add the effect, in this case, a ring modulator. Here we can verify the association of the symbol filter and a function. The in argument allows the sound to be passed. If one would declare multiple arguments, it's the first one that stands for the sound. We can add more effects which will be executed according to their slot number in ascending order. We can adjust the dry-wet balance by means of the set message, to which the slot number must be added right after the wet key. Filter in behaves in a similar way and it's useful if the effect has a longer decay time like reverbs, delays, filters, etc. Here the wet control sets the input level and not the output. Let's hear the difference.
Moving on, a quick word about slots. It is important to assign a slot number to the source node proxy. Otherwise, we risk to lose the effects. Let's see what happens if we don't do it. We play our node proxy without a slot assignment. We add the effect. And we go back to our source and change values in our pbind. We see that we lose the effect. This is because if no slot is given, all other slots are emptied. But by assigning a slot to our sound source, normally the zeroth slot, we make sure that we can go back and forth between tweaking values in our pbind and our effects without compromising the latter. A handy method here is objects that allows us to inspect what's inside of both the whole node proxy and the individual slots. Let's play our note node proxy without an assigned slot and evaluate the object method. Inside we see that there is a pattern control. Let's add an effect to it and check the proxy's content. A pattern control with a synthev control. We can also check the slot's content. A synthev control. Let's tweak some values inside of our pbind we see that the synthdev control slot has been emptied and let's check the inside of the node proxy. Just the pattern control. And the slot is nil. Slots are processed in ascending order and effects are chained. There is however no need in numbering the slots consecutively. In fact it is good to leave some space between the slots just in case one wishes to add something in between. Like this. Last topic I want to cover is fade time. So far, we've seen that with the set method, we can adjust how dry or wet we want the effect to sound. There is also xset that crossfades into the new value by means of the node proxy's fade time. This is very helpful for sounds that are continuous or textural and don't need to be adjusted to a specific beat. But it becomes problematic if we are tying the sounds rhythmically to other node proxies. Let's see how it works. First with set and later with x set. Here everything sounds together.
bass drum and notes are not in sync anymore. They're now out of phase and the temporal shift corresponds to the fading time of the note proxy. There is a way in which this can be solved that doesn't require too much typing. Again, let's clear everything. We play our note proxy, we add the effect. Note that the effect will appear as gradual as the fade time value allows. and we remove the slot with nil. Again, the effect will vanish according to the face time value. If we want the effect somewhere between 0 and 1, we can create a filter and set its value either in one single line or between parentheses. Note again how fade time smoothly introduces the effect. That's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful and please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd be interested to know if you deal with effects in a different way and what's your approach. Goodbye.